Me hitting the record button and going to Anne Marie Anderson. Hey, Destiny. Uh, coming off a bench like this Aces bench where they uh, scored 52 points total, I'm just wondering for you what it means to be a part of a team as strong as the Aces in your rookie year in the league. Um, you know, I think it's super um, important and unique. Um, I don't think every day everybody gets to face the competition that I do in practice um, and gets to learn from the individuals that I do. Um, I think from coming off the bench and having to have that mindset of picking up from the quality of play that they've left on the floor, uh, it's, it's a big responsibility. And I think it's fun as a rookie to be able to go in there and uh, learn and have them talk to us and just challenge myself each day to, to play to the skill level and the quality that they do um, each and every game. And then the other day um, when I was talking to Bill about you, you know, he doesn't hand out compliments very uh, easily. And he said of Destiny, I trust her. Just trust you in those situations. Uh, what does that mean to you to have the trust of him to know that you're gonna play hard, you're gonna make good decisions at such an early point in your W career? Um, you know, I mean, I think it's special, um, how you said, uh, coming from him especially, um, but also just coming from an opportunity uh, and perspective of the team that we have. Um, it's definitely not um, an easy thing to come on this team with the talent that we have, and especially the bench depth that we have, um, and be able to earn trust. And so, and that's why I told him the other day um, in our meeting, just every day I want to come in and um, gain trust from my teammates and my coaches um, to be able to prove to them that um, I'm going to make the effort plays every play um, to keep us in the ball game to, you know, if they get us a lead and we're up 20 um, and we get four minutes in the fourth quarter uh, to push us up 25. Um, and so those are the type of things, um, you know, I really appreciate, um, but also I'm working for every single day just to prove that to my teammates and my coaches every day. And what's your final, what's your preparation look like? Vanessa Nygaard told me that she was mentioning something the other day and you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in the scouting report. Uh, and she said, boy, destiny goes through it really deeply. I'm wondering what your preparation looks like. Um, you know, I take it as though I I'm going to play 40 minutes. Uh, that's my mindset. I feel like if I can prepare when I'm playing four or no minutes, right. Um, then when it does come to the minute that, that I do get the opportunity. Um, and when my number is called, you never know your opportunity. You never know your time. Um, you never know the events that could take place throughout a game. And so, you know, I always want to be ready and I always want to prepare as though, you know, I'm, uh, playing 40 minutes. That's just how my mind works. Um, I think that's the best way to benefit my teammates too. Um, I think a lot of people undervalue what the bench can do. Um, the whole entire time we're watching um, the game. I think we have a perspective too, that when um, the starters and people are playing, come off the bench and come to the bench, you could be like, Hey, uh, they're running this, this play, which is this, you know, and then just give them little cues throughout the game. And so being as attentive as I can on the bench is important and knowing you know, everything they do is important as well. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you. John? Hi, Destiny. Thank you for your time. What's been the biggest challenge for you in adjusting to the WNBA? Um, that's a good question. I, I mean, I think the people will say the speed. I won't say like the speed just by itself, but the speed and the physicality combined. Um, you're not only facing faster and, and more efficient guards, I would say, uh, but they are strong and, and they play every possession. Um, really hard in college you'll get maybe in the fourth quarter people will play hard or like sometimes you'll get one player that's really aggressive uh, every team you're facing someone who this is their opportunity to shine and they're using every moment and so you're going to get their a game every game and so I think coming every day and realizing you know that, that that's an everyday thing it's never going to change and the physicality is they're going to push you up your lines to try to make your day really hard and, and so you have to do everything to a T. Uh, but it's been fun to challenge yourself, myself and just like uh, push myself each day to to do that. And I have the best guards in practice to push me and do that every day. So it's great. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Chris Matthews, close us out. Hey, Destiny, can I ask you, I don't know if you've had a chance yet to uh, attend a uh, Vegas Golden Knights hockey game. They're making this run to the Stanley Cup. And Bill was even mentioning that he uses some of the analogies with the Knights in terms of how they play as a team and how they're deep and all that with, with you guys there. Just a few of your thoughts, if you've had a chance to see the team, your thoughts on that and just how he uses that as kind of motivation for you guys. Um, I haven't been able to see a night like or to go to a Knights game in person, but I've watched uh, the games playing everywhere in Vegas, right? Um, and so uh, I think just watching them too and, and just using that in our own thing is 
that's a hometown team right here in Vegas and watching them do what they can do after coming off a pandemic um, and, and galvanizing really the fans and just the entire city and just watching them and the way they play it as an entire team is you know how talented they are, but nobody takes it on themselves to try to be the hero. Everyone just plays together. And I think that's one thing he's kind of mentioned to us is just how good we can be as a unit and how good we can be together because we're so talented. So uh, I know that's a good analogy that he uses a lot. Thank you. And thank you, Destiny. Go get some more shots up and we will <laughs> see you tomorrow night, seven o'clock on CBS Sports Network and My LV TV. Thank you guys. Thank you.